Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject object oriented programming access specifiers. So access specifier is one of the important topic uh, while you are writing the programs. Uh, this access specifier specifiers is also called as a visibility. You call it as a visibility modes. So the name itself is indicating it is visibling the whatever the data members and whatever the member functions that are used in the class are visible up to which class. So that specifies this access specifier. So the visibility mode specifies how the features of base are visible to derived class. Means one class will visible to another class. How it is visible? Let us see this. Actually the access specifiers every member of base class is inherited by a derived class just with different access permissions. So these access specifiers is giving the permissions to act, uh, access the data members and the member functions in another classes. So the, the, there are three types of access specifiers. Public access specifier, public mode, private mode and protected. So these are the three different access specifiers means the visibility modes uh, while you're using the classes when you're writing the classes. So let us see the first one. Let us see the public. So what is this public visibility mode? A public member is uh, accessible from anywhere outside the class but within the program. You have to note that if you declare any data members or a member functions as a public it is accessible from anywhere outside the class suppose it is present outside the class you can access those data members and member functions which are already declared as public but you have to remember that within the program not outside the program okay a public member is accessible from anywhere so you can access in anywhere outside the class anywhere outside the class but within the program but within the program so the variables or member functions that are declared as a public that can be accessible from anywhere outside the class but the, that should be within the program the member functions and the day, uh, data variables that are within the program. So let us see one example how this public fun uh, member function is accessible. Suppose this is star include IO stream for accessing all the input output functions using namespace std so now coming to the main so the first the class class line okay so this is a class line you call it as a base class or whatever the class that i declared as a public so the items that are, i declared it as a public that can be accessible anywhere outside the class also so public so what items i'm uh, using the public pub, uh, double length so the length is one variable that declared as a public next to void set length void set length double length so this is one of the function that I uh, I declared it as a public. So this function can uh, I can use outside the class also. And the another function that double get length. So set length and get length I can use anywhere. Okay, within the class or outside the class also I can access these variables and these two functions so this is the data member and these are the two member functions these three can access anywhere in the program okay so this is a class line now let us see the member function definition 
so member function definition so here i just declare the uh, data members and the member function so in now i am writing the definition double line so this is the class get length is a member function void written length so whatever length it may be that is should be written okay so now coming to any the member function so get length i call with the help of this class so any the member function that is coming to next void line so line is the class set length is another member function so previous i had written as a get length now it is set length double length so here i am declaring i am writing the definition length is equal to len okay so i call the two member functions with the help of the class from the class so now i am writing the main function int main line so lin is the class and this is the object i uh, i declare the object now with the help of the object i am calling the functions line dot set length i am giving the variables values line is the object set length is the function which i am calling so this is a, this function it calls so whatever the length is 6.0 will say stored in the length now print that value so see out length of line so what will be the length of the line that is line dot line is the object get length and l so now set li set line without member functions without member functions i am directly writing line dot length is equal to 10.0 why i written like this because it is the length is a public which i already declared so length is a public so without writing like member function directly i am calling line is an object and dot length is equal to 10.0 see out now print this length of line line dot just simply length and l return 0 close the main function then what will be the output here so first length of line is Whatever the length of line that is a 6 is printed. Next length of line is 10. 10 was printed. Okay. So this is how you calling use the uh, data members or the member functions which are declared as a public within the class or outside the class. So outside the class I am accessing in the main program I am accessing the variables that are declared as a public. So here I declared in this class I declared uh, the length and set length and get length or the public. So I am using these class items in the main function and calling the program. So this is a public. Now let us see the private. So the next member function or sorry the next access specifier or the visibility modes or the private so we are seeing the public now let us see the private what is a private so a private member variable or a function cannot be accessed or even viewed from outside the class only the class friend function can access private member so what it means so if a variable or a function 
that is declared as a private that can be accessed only within the class. It cannot be accessed or even it cannot be viewed from outside the class. So another class cannot able to see that variable or the function which I declared it as a private. Private means make it as a secret. Okay. So a private member function, sorry, member variables or functions cannot be accessed. You have to remember cannot be accessed or even view from outside the class. So that you have to be remembered. So a, a member variable or a function that is declared as a private that cannot be accessed or even viewed from outside the class. So only the function only the class friend function can access private members. So only the friends can access. So your secrets can be shared your friends. Okay, other than the friends, uh, you are not uh, showing your information because you make it as a secret. You are making it as a private. Okay, if you make your information as a private, you are not supposed to show that information to any other. Okay, suppose if your close friend is there, then you will show that message to your friend. Okay, only so friend function can access private members. Only the friend function can access private members. Other classes cannot able to access those variables or functions or they cannot even view those items. So let us see one example. So example. So in this example, I will use the public and private. Then you will be clear uh, what is the public and what will be the private. I declare the some items as a public and some items as a private. Include I was stream. So now coming to the star class, base class. So class A. So the, in this class A, I'm writing the private. I'm declaring some variables as private. Suppose private int A I declared. The way A variable is declared as a private. Means A can access only within the class. Outside the class, you can't access the A variable. Now I'm declaring public int b so int b can access anywhere in the program but not outside the program anywhere in the program in any number of classes you can access the b variable because i declare it as a public okay now i am writing the function public so whenever i declare the function as a public this function can access in any of the class so that is a void show here i am declaring the values a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. Now I am printing the value c out. So that is accessing. Accessing variables. Within the class. Okay. Accessing variable within the class. c out. Value of a just print the value of a okay c out value of b just print the value of b close the class so what here i am writing this is completely class program within the class i declared the one variable as a private and one variable as a public Okay, I have given, already have given the values 10, 20. I am printing the values also. So, within the class. Now, coming to the main program. Void main. So, now I am creating the object for the class. So, A is the class. OBJ is the object. 
so with the help of the object i am calling this function so because this is a public i can call because the function uh, the method is i declared as a public so by default all the method should be a public obj dot show so whenever i call this okay so now i call this program so now i want to print the value c out accessing variables outside the class so accessing variables outside the class so uh, now i'm accessing the variables outside the class but one thing you have to be remember that uh, here the a is declared as a private so uh, now a cannot be accessed okay so a cannot be accessed suppose if you print like this it shows some compile error c out value of a so with the help of object you are calling that variable but it shows compile time error compile error because a is a private variable you can't access in another class okay so c out value of b so obj dot b this will be printed because b is a public so that this is a program so what will be the output so whenever i call this program a obj object is created obj dot show means it comes to here okay it comes to here and it enters these values so what will be the output accessing variable so output for this is first it reads this uh, function because i am calling obj dot show now the output is accessing variables within the class first it will be printed within the class so what is the what is that the values value of a is what is the value of a 10 will be printed and value of b is 20 is printed so this is readed this function is readed now coming to here now it enters the c out accessing variable outside the class so in the output you have you are, you are able to see accessing variables outside the class so it will be printed so here this step won't execute because the a is declared as a private so you cannot access that a variable now it prints the this statement so here value of b is 20 will be printed okay so this is about this private so the variable that is declared as a private that is accessed within the class so within the class it prints the a value and the b value so if you call that program in outside the class so accessing the outside the class a cannot print because a is declared as a private only the b value will be printed so this is about the private so in the next video, I will explain about the protected. Thank you.